Welcome to Citraso Daisy Wireframes. This application is going to help you uh, create tailoring CSS wireframes for mobile application. So you sign it here, and then the user interface is going to appear. Currently, we have a project that we have been working on. It looks like this, this page. Uh, what I'm going to do is just start the tool so that you see how everything works together. So to start the tour, we click this button here. So it writes out notes in terms of welcome to the world. Let me introduce you to how this app works. If you are designed mobile and web application using Tailwind CSS, you are in the right space. So we're going to select next. So what we have, we have a menu here that you can access a couple of components that you want to create so this is what is saying indicate is saying here yeah? so it tells you which component that you can add on this mobile wireframe next and then everything that you use in your wireframe creation progress will appear on this mobile device and then next and then we have a segment button here for example if you want to show the see the tree the properties and resources that are in the project then you come here so it allows you to see the project structure the component properties and project resources you can update the component processes properties to suit your needs you are also able to upload files to your project like images etc next and then here you can collapse or expand each of the three components here and to access a component you need to click on it and then click properties like down below we click the component of the amount here and then you go to properties it will be activated so let's go through the next process introducing you to the menu the file menu you're able to create new projects Download wireframes as an image, download and upload JSON wireframe, delete a project, delete resources, and refresh the screen as you can see here. Next. With pages, you're able to add a drawer, a page, add a navbar, add a toolbar, add bottom navigation, add a footer, and a footer title. Next. Navigation. With navigation, you're able to add a link, to add a menu, to add tabs, to add steps, and then breadcrumbs. Next, and then the grid. The grid allows you to add rows, columns, division, and a component. A component is just a general component that you can just specify the tag and then other things about it, then styling and classes, forms. The forms menu, there's a couple of form components, like you add a form, a text box, which can be a password, telephone, and a dial. Add a text area, text area chips. Add a checkbox or a checkbox group. Add a radio or radio group. Then a rating component, a range, a select, a toggle, and then a file input, which could access the camera, access video functionality, microphone, or a progress indication. And then on actions, this is where you add your buttons, your model dialog, button icons, images, button indicators, floating access button, button groups, and drop downs. And then on the layout, you have your ordered list, unordered list, then list items. You can add a hero, add a stack, code, add board, phone in the window. And then in your cards, you had an empty card, a card with an image, a card title, a card body, a card actions. No. Then for the display, the display, if you want to add an avatar, a figure, a caption, an image, a badge, badge chips, icons, skeleton text, progress bars. Radial progress, toast, alerts, carousel, a chart item, and a chart system. So this is used to do where you want to have something to display.
In typography, we have labels, headings, h1 to h6, anchors, paragraphs, spans, and some native elements that we can add. And then on our plugins, we use uh, we have drag tabs, we have the color picker, date and time pickers, roll date and time pickers, and HTML editor, swipe and then swipe elements. And then on devices, this is where you're able to toggle the view of the device and then view uh, the wireframe in any other device, for example, you know. So in the tree, like when you place components, you place components inside another one. You can select a component. And then after that, you go to properties. And then properties will indicate in terms of what you can specify for the component. For example, the text of the component is 2000 here. You know, and then uh, as soon as you finish with the properties, you can save the component. You know, and then if you want to toggle the view, you can toggle the view. And then um, if you want to see where the component is, you just select here, select here, show component border. For example, this component LBL amount, this is where it is here. We added that border here. Then they want to create another component clone. Here, if you want to apply styling, if you want to delete the component, if you want to see which properties were changed. So we can select here, and then it will show us that for this particular component, the text is this, and then these are the styles that were applied as, as JSON. And then here you access other menu components, you know. And then here you're able to search for a component. Like for example, I want to search for a name. So I want to search for a text property, all the properties that are giving me that are shown there. So that is how this thing works. So you just play around with it to put components uh, inside others. Like for example, this text box here is inside the Component three, you see this here. There's other components that are on the list. So you play around with it, and then you see how it works in terms of creating uh, things.